You see me smiling right now, there's a reason for that. Our videographer, Jeff, who you'll see on other videos, just asked me, he says, Bob, you need to do a little video because you've referenced interferential therapy as being a natural pain reliever. And he said, people do not think of a unit, an external device that sends electricity through you as a natural process. And he says, can you talk to it about natural? And then as I thought about it, and we're sitting here now, I said, sure, that's, that's very easy. Uh, because it's understandable to think when you take a device that emits electricity into you, that's a non-natural process. That's what one would think. Truth is, all of the processes, including our heartbeat, our thoughts, they're based upon electrical activity, natural electrical activity. Now, please remember, when we start looking at a patient dying, we do not look at the heart quits beating, therefore the patient is dead. When there's a cessation of electrical activity from the brain, that is how we start looking at death. What happens in our body is our body has a communication system using electricity that signals us, or signals our consciousness. It also, our heart is signaled to beat. That's done subconsciously. But it's a natural process to use electricity to stay healthy and to heal. What we're doing with interferential is in our body, once we have chronic pain, one of the problems we have is our body has a malfunction, and you may have seen the other video, Nelzak you know, Wall Gate Control Theory, Sholin opioid peptides, uh, Linda Watkins, and the uh, glial cells. But our body, for some reason, especially with the chronic pain patient, is signaling, uh, signaling us we hurt and we change the way we do things because of that pain. That's a natural, pro an unnatural process actually with chronic pain because the state of our health should not be one of chronic pain. It should be an absence of pain unless we have had a stimulus that is painful and requires us to react to that stimulus. Problem with chronic pain is it's not a stimulus. Chronic pain literally is a diagnosis, is, is a symptom, but it's been turned in our culture into a diagnosis. So if you have arthritis, we know what causes the problem. If you were to have a problem associated with diabetes, we know what the problem is. We know you have a symptom associated with the diagnosis of diabetes. Chronic pain is different. Chronic pain is not a diagnosis. It's not supposed to be. It's a symptom. But the reason it becomes chronic is because nobody knew how to treat the underlying problem. So then they give up, as you know, and then you have chronic pain. What we're doing electrically is we're trying to reverse the process of pain being felt. If we can reverse that process because it's an unnatural process, we use electricity to naturally stimulate us the way we're supposed to be. When that happens, when we have an absence or a reduction of pain, then that increases our ability to walk, to wake up, to not take drugs, to not sleep as much, to regain function, to return back to life, as if most people are that aren't suffering from chronic pain. So one of the points I've always tried to use with the Infrax, a lot of times when we're using interferential, or you could use TENS, all we're really ever trying to do is stop the unnatural process of chronic pain, which inhibits us. And when that happens, that's not good, as you probably know. So what we're doing here is we're trying to restore our body to a natural state, which is to live without chronic pain. We use electricity. We cause electrical reactions, which also cause chemical reactions. But we reduce the pain or eliminate it. We get started for a more natural lifestyle. Once we restore that, then we're able to function and go forward because we're not suffering from the unnatural phenomena of chronic pain. Hope this helps you. If you get a chance, look at some of the other videos. Thanks. And thanks, Jeff, for bringing this up. Happy to answer any questions. You can always get in touch with us. Just call us on our 800 number. 
You can also send me an email or go to our website, and that's www.medfax.com, and you can see that there at the bottom of the screen anyway.